Cheryl Schlenker has a BS in design and a master's degree in special education. She has served in the Peace Corps in Southeast Asia and worked in the Middle East. Her artwork has won numerous awards, both local and international, and she has served on the boards of many art associations, including as president of the Philadelphia Watercolor Society. In her artwork, she is drawn to the abstraction of the natural environment and how the use of color and light can bring emotion to everyday subject matter. Using mixed media, she finds that combining the qualities of paint, pastels, charcoal, pencil, and collage can be used to enhance the properties of each one. The dark days of this year, and of this month in particular, highlight the hopes and visions we all have of spring and the always reliable promise of new growth and light. Cheryl hopes that her work instills this promise to her viewers. My name is Cheryl Schlenker. I've been a gallery artist in the Media Arts Council for about five years. And I wanted to talk about one of my pieces in Max February virtual exhibit. The theme of our show is hopeful visions and it's meaningful to me because not only are we trying to find a way out of the pandemic shutdown, but also just because it's February, the darkest month, the only holiday being Valentine's Day, and maybe the Super Bowl. So what is hopeful? Think about the coming spring. Gardeners are collecting seed catalogs right now. Live things are actually gonna come out of the dead ground. The sun will come out. So I chose this painting to talk about. It's titled Garden Party. I had no idea how or what it would be when it turned out. Painting is kind of a process for me and I'd like to share that process with you. Here are my materials. There's fluid acrylic paint bottles, tubes of paint, brushes, scrapers, crayons, pencils, pastels, tape, and pieces of collage, even a cut-up credit card in the front there. Uh, they're not usually arranged this neatly. <laughs> to start, I face a big blank white space. This is exciting. I could choose paper, or canvas. For this, for this particular painting, Garden Party, I selected a 16 by 20 inch canvas. Next, I chose three colors of fluid acrylic paint and kind of poured it on, splattering it about, and then maybe spraying a few drops of water to help them run around. I pick up the canvas and twist it around to let it run. Then I take some pushers uh, that's what I call spatulas or sticks or that old credit card and I spread the paint around into what I think are interesting shapes. I had no idea of the subject at this time. I was looking for a good composition of dark and light shapes and colors. Then after turning the canvas around to look at it in different directions I started adding and subtracting with my brush and tubed paint. Some lines and shapes I put in to make it more interesting. This is really the fun part. I can go crazy at this point and not worry about anything. I'm wondering what this is going to suggest. The colors are happy. Sometimes in my paintings I see trees, buildings, sometimes an aerial view or a cityscape. But I keep getting a sense of a garden here. My abstract paintings are usually abstractions. That is, I mean, they have a base in reality somewhere. So even if it doesn't look like a photograph or real life, it will have a floral quality when it ends up. So I'm looking for the shape of a petal or the turn of a leaf or the sparkle of light hitting a bud or a stem. So I'm going full speed ahead now and I finish the details and the background. And that's the end. I hope you visit the show.